Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it, go ahead. Tell you what I'm ready to time. <coughs> so who's ready for me to open up with the sports story? Yeah. All right, good, because I'm not doing that this time. <laughs> I, uh, I like to think I know a lot about sports, and one of the, you know, I, I've studied it, I've played it, but my TED Talk today is not necessarily have anything to do with sports. It's about something that I thought I knew everything about, and I thought that I have lived because I've, you know, I've had some instances and run-ins with it. I want to talk today about bipolar disorder. I thought I knew everything about it until I married my wife that has it. She has bipolar type 2 to be specific. And through my experiences of living and being married to her, I've kind of found out that I actually know absolutely nothing about bipolar disorder. I grew up going, I had depression and some little anxiety I worried at night, like of, you know, monsters or your parents dying in a car accident or something like that. Like, I, I, I had some, you know, I thought I knew, okay, it's just kind of, bipolar is kind of like that. Actually, it's not at all. And in pre preparation for this TED Talk, I actually went to the PPC like we're supposed to, and I asked them, I was like, hey, I don't know, I don't know, I don't really understand how to illustrate, to help people understand what exactly bipolar is. Because if I, I didn't know it, then you probably don't know really what it is. Unless, you, unless some of you have a loved one or have it. I, you probably don't know because the media and society kind of put it as something that's not. And I asked this PPC person, I said, hey, so I just need some help, man. I don't know how to illustrate this. And so he said, well, maybe you should put up a picture of this and tell them that that's what bipolar disorder is. You all know who this is. This is Gollum from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. And he, you know, he talks to himself. He's obsessed with little this ring. He has hears voices. He goes through all this. You know, he's kind of he's he's crazy. I'll just throw it out like that. So after the suggestion, I kind of laughed and said, "Actually, um, you know, that's nothing like bipolar disorder." One of the ex first experiences I had when I actually learned about what bipolar disorder is through living with my wife and you know, going through doctor's appointments with her sometimes is my first one with this specialist in Caldwell, Idaho. We moved recently out of the area, so we moved back and we went to a new doctor and I know what it was like to live with my wife. It was, you know, it's been like eight months since we were married and this guy was kind of a stern, kind of a tough guy, like older, he's been doing it for years. I started talking and said, yeah, this is what my wife does, this is what she has, bipolar this, bipolar that, I know what she's going through. And she <laughs> you get humbled when a lot of times when you get put in your place, and I was honestly really humbled in this situation. He said, actually, you have no idea what you're talking about, I suggest you stop talking. A guy said this to me. So I sat there, quiet for the rest of the time. And to help me illustrate to you what it's like, the differences between us and someone that has bipolar and in what's in their mind, because that's the big thing, it's about your mind, is to, exp to show you, I'm going to show you this example of uh, what the differences are, because that's what this doctor actually explained to me. Whenever we face a challenge or a trial or something, you know, adversity or something happens to us, we react. And when we react, it's like this picture here. This is the Redwoods. I actually took this photo. If we were to set this on fire with a match, it would slowly burn, but not too bad. It would go a little bit progressive, but it wouldn't, we'd get firefighters to come by the time, you know, it's the Redwoods, it's huge. People would come and respond. That is what our mind is like when we react to something, our mood change. It's slow, it's progressive, but it's not that big of a deal. It, it can be stopped by a firefighter. So this is us with people with bipolar disorder. This is what it's like for them. If I was to throw a match at this field, it would be black fast. It would be burnt and be toasted. That is what it's like for someone in their mind with bipolar. Is that, for instance, if someone cut them off in a, you know, in, in, it, they would, it would burn up fast. In, a dry, in the traffic, if someone got cut off, their mind would speed up 
tons, ton, 10 times faster than what a green grass would be like this. Just different. And you can tell the difference. One's dry and one's lusciously green. Uh, one of the big points I want to make to you is that you'll really understand people who have bipolar by experiencing things with them and to understand what they're going through. So in my side of the story, I'm going to tell you some experiences I've had with my wife. Early in the stages of our marriage, I thought, you know, it's just moods changing quickly. But with bipolar, a lot of times, even doctors think it's just an exaggerated diagnosis of depression. Well, it's not. It's not at all. But what it is, bipolar disorder also has kind of two companionship pieces to it, like a stool, the three legs, depression and anxiety. So all three of those together is exactly what work together and they both play on each other. One of the hardest parts or pills to swallow for me, being married to my wife when I first got married, is understanding her, her anxiety and depression with certain things that she felt uncomfortable with. And the biggest thing that I felt, it was really close to my heart, was uh, the church. We're all members. I'm a very passionate member of the church. And honestly, that is the hardest thing in my wife's life, is the church. Not the doctor, not the principals, but going to church. As a child, she struggled to sit in the pews. She was afraid to shake someone's hand. I tell you these experiences because I had to go through that with her. I would have to sometimes leave church early with her. We had to turn down some calling and some speaking opportunities because the stress and the anxiety from those things to her trigger her bipolar to making her upset, angry, or just out of it, or feeling worthless or not. Not being able to be a uh, contributor to society. It makes me sad. It makes me that my wife has a problem with those things at the church. One time, at a, we... I, we First summer of marriage, we went to a barbecue, had chicken, food, fun, games, family members, great things were going on at this outdoor thing by our, at a church, and my wife said, I'm not going. I'm not going at all. And I'm just like, oh, not again. Please, it's a barbecue. <laughs> There's no pews. Please, go. So we go, and like a child that doesn't want to go to a dentist, sometimes they don't want to do things. My wife's not a child, but she, I had to beg her to get out of the car. So I went and ate for the first five minutes. It's kind of embarrassing. It's really hard. But she opened up and warmed up and came out of the car and partook of the food. As much as it is hard for me in my life to, to overcome those things as well as be married, bipolar has, is like up and down, and there's ups and downs. And as much as, you know, this is the depression, the downs, bipolar, this is the mania, is the ups. My wife has hypomania. She, when she is, has her mania, she is so fun and so motivated and so exciting to be around. She is normal. Even with her downs and ups, she is normal. When I decided to do this TED Talk, I thought about what I could share with you about about my wife that will prove to you that through my learning experiences, I've learned that bipolar, people with bipolar disorder are normal. My wife went to the psychiatric ward when she was 17. Um, that was the hardest time in her life. She's gone through several therapists and several trials like that. But she managed to pull through, and she went to college a thousand miles away from home. A couple months ago, my mother-in-law called us, and she said that she ran into that high school counselor or therapist and said, your, wife, your daughter, my wife, is a success story of someone who has overcome this and is normal. It, she is normal. And she is now sharing my wife's story to all of her clients. And I think there's a book maybe that she'll share my wife's story with. But my wife loves to read. She is a creator in the kitchen. She loves to cook. She loves to be a part of our, my family, she loves, our, she loves to animals, and this is her. I wasn't going to point her out, but she's over there. <laughs> I love my wife. She has bipolar disorder, but she is normal. 
And I want you to know that we can treat other people with bipolar disorder like they're normal because they are contributors to society and they're not just a freak show like Gollum, like what people say. They are normal, just like me and you. Thank you.